Today we're going to talk about settings in Control Center. To access settings from the main point of sale menu, maintenance, and settings and panels. From within here, you have access to all settings that control not just Control Center, but also the point of sale registers at each location. The first tab, Account Information, just shows general information about your account. The next tab, Shared Settings, would be settings that are shared amongst all Control Center users. These can also be overridden at the individual user level. They contain things such as the time zone, whether or not to auto log off the user after a specified amount of time, and to open links in the same window or pop them up in a new window. Continuing on to signage, signage settings control all settings about the signage devices at your locations. This could be customer facing screens in your point of sale, as well as devices attached to televisions. The next tab is loyalty. Within here, you can define whether or not you have a branded website, you have a customer portal, and within it, what the background and chain logo is for that customer portal. Options allow you to choose your balance type, and then what any interest is on bonus reward tokens, what your cash multiplier and non-cash multipliers are. What this means is if the customer pays with cash, you can incentivize them by giving them more points than non-cash customers. The minimum redeem amount. This means when a customer goes to redeem their tokens, what is the minimum amount of tokens they need in order to start the redemption process? Whether or not registration is required. If we're gonna allow cash tenders and non-cash tenders for loyalty sales. Whether or not you are participating in manufacturer offers. Can employee earn on purchases? And if they can, what is the earn limit? Are we gonna auto lock purchases? And if so, what is that value? Do we want to enable temporary locking? Are we splitting the rewards tokens with the clerk? Are employees allowed to look up the customer manually or do we require a license? Do you have referral codes? Referral codes are codes that are prompted for the cashier to enter when adding a customer. Are there any purchases needed to redeem? And if so, what is the redemption limit? And what is the redemption interval? And finally, are text messages enabled? Continuing on to team settings. This is where you can set your customer and employee referral bonus points, the interval a customer can be inactive before their flag is inactive and stop earning, as well as the breakdown. So in here, this defines your hierarchy for earnings. So if you refer someone them, whenever they spend, you are gonna receive the level one incentive. If they refer someone, then you would be that person's level two and so on and so forth. The terms allow you to set the terms and conditions that are displayed on the website and loyalty app. The notifications allows your loyalty administrators to be notified when a certain events happen. The global blacklist allows you to blacklist items that can never be used in loyalty transactions, such as lottery, tobacco, fuel. Finally, Altria integration settings. We have a direct integration in with Altria. From here, you can specify the parameters for that integration. The swag shop settings allow you to define the maximum redemptions per day and per purchase, as well as set notifications about any fulfillments that happen within the swag shop. 